as you just saw, I did some yoga with Barry M Cosmetics. They came out with some new products, so they wanted to celebrate by doing yoga together, which I thought was really, really cute. Before I start the video, I just want to say welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and watching my video. If you're new to my channel, I am Jasmine. Hello, welcome to my channel. If you're coming back, thank you so much for clicking on this video and watching. Today, um, we have a little vlog style video, but I will be touching upon some really important things in this video and I feel like it might help some of you guys, I don't know. Um, but first, I kind of want to make myself look a little bit presentable. In this video, I am going to touch upon making healthier habits being productive and just living a healthier lifestyle and how I am trying to do that. I'm also going to sh share with you guys that if you are struggling with some of the things I am struggling with, this is this might be a really good way to, you know, help, you know, help you guys. One of the main problems honestly I'm having is with my gut. And I feel like gut is such a big thing and it literally if your gut isn't healthy then it will not give you good mood, it will not give you good like, you know, energy and it makes us less productive and obviously as soon as your gut is an issue a lot of things can happen with your body and you might feel sluggish you might not want to do a lot of things not work out and being in a lockdown right now especially like the whole pandemic you can't really do anything we can't have like good mental health like you know some people really need some outside interaction to have a good mental health and i feel like i'm one of those people and if i'm not interacting with other people i am not learning new things and i'm not you know it's just not good for your mental health and i just want to touch up on that in this video and how i have been trying to maintain a healthy habit and trying to make myself productive and you don't have to be productive all the time that is another thing i've learned and I'm slowly learning so yeah I just want to touch up on those things in this video and it might help you guys it is going to be like a vlog style video so I will show you guys what I get up to as well just to maintain these habits what I eat what I do during the day even though I'm working all the time so let me go shower let me um, eat some lunch as well already one o'clock I'm gonna eat some lunch take a shower and I am going to be getting ready so I'm back from my shower and everything um, change into nice clothing I'm actually gonna do a little PLT haul at the end of this video so stay tuned for that I picked up some really cute cozy pieces I think you guys will enjoy it anyway so I thought I would kind of honestly just get ready and chat with you guys that's always more fun than just me sitting here and talking um, I'm just going to be using this kombucha cleansing treatment this is a new product from fresh I got gifted it like a week ago I have an event with them this week actually um, but this is a new product that is like a cleanser but you don't need to actually rinse it off which is quite cool um, as you can see I am breaking out a lot here I broke out quite bad recently one two three four five it is quite bad I won't talk too much about the products I'm using I'll just list everything down below but I just wanted to talk about how I've been feeling and everything about my health being more like cautious about my house um part of me breaking out in this section right here and here is more like hormonal is almost the time of the month so i kind of tend to break out here a lot but as you can see i haven't broken out on my chin a lot i don't know it's just been a lot better and i haven't broken out there which is a miracle because since the first lockdown started and like last year i had been breaking out there a lot and it was a big problem like i'll put pictures up and i also have a updated skincare coming very shortly by the way i just have a couple of bits in that video that i need to sort out but i will be filming that very soon i also want this to kind of disappear before i film that because i promise you apart from those my skin has been totally normal like i used to break out tons around my chin everything's fine now i've been doing loads of stuff that i can't wait to share with you guys and in the main thing is just eating and what I put in my body and I want to be more mindful of what I put in my body from now on and realizing that gut health is so important what you put on your stomach is what shows outside and how your mind functions and everything I'm actually going to try out the new Huda Beauty fragrance free luminous matte foundation I'm tanned at the moment I tanned last night it's actually developed quite nice so I thought I'd use this one 
Okay, I'm just gonna start prioritizing like my mental and my health well-being. Um, I'm just gonna focus on that more from now on and focus on what I put on my body because I feel like that has definitely um, that will definitely change up a lot of things. Yeah, it's about time. Like I started doing all of that, and I was really good like once upon a time, but I'm not good anymore. So I need to get back on it. So I'm slowly starting to take precaution and stuff. I am always cleaning in my room, which I never used to do before. I'm always making sure, like you know, there's not a lot of clutter around me. I, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've got loads of plants in my room, which help me a lot. It helps me like calm. Um, everything I don't know how it helps it's just a cleaner energy cleaner space and it just has helped a lot and also like um, being productive has helped for the longest time I was always productive but in not the best way not the most effective way and being productive in a good way like I always used to just imagine the bigger picture and not think about the smaller things to do to achieve the bigger picture but these days I've been really focused on how to do the smaller things so that I can achieve the bigger picture. I always have a checklist every single day on what things I need to get done that day. Before, right, um, I used to always do this anyway, um, but before I used to just, after I finished the checklist, I used to make more and more and more lists. But these days what I've been practicing is that I need to stop right there. If my checklist is done for the day, I'm going to stop right there. I'm not going to do anything else. I'm going to give myself a break. I'm going to give my mind a break. I'm going to go on a walk. I never used to do those things. And now I've started slowly practicing those things. Honestly, it's helped so much. Just getting a clear headspace and starting another day. Like I have another day. I always used to feel like I don't have another day. There will always be another day. So always remember that. Sometimes overworking can make you so unproductive like i end up procrastinating if i have too much stuff on my list to be done and i've done that in the past and i'm trying to slowly get out of that habit and make myself a new habits where i stop if i finish my list of the day i stop yeah it's really been helping another thing that's really been helping is learning new things i feel like we always forget that we're always in our own bubble and I personally always forget to learn new things. I've been trying to read more books about learning more things and like, you know, just practicing newer things and it's been really helping and it kind of clears your head as well. When I was traveling, I would always learn new things, but I haven't traveled in a whole year and I haven't learned anything new. And yeah, another thing I touched upon was like um, cleaning. Cleaning really has helped. I've been decluttering my makeup. I've also been trying to declutter my wardrobe and also this like working space I always try to declutter it and just get rid of things that honestly I've been holding for the longest time and if I haven't used it in the past six months I'm like realistically never gonna use that thing so I've been trying to get rid of things um, that's been really helping as well and I also love doing makeup and skincare I feel like it's the most therapeutic thing ever I absolutely love skincare more than makeup I think I do my skincare every morning and I also do my makeup like most days not every day but skincare is always my like priority in the morning and also in the evening before I sleep I will never not do my skincare ever um, and it's super therapeutic and I absolutely love it also I know I don't wear a lot of highlights anymore but I just wanted to put that on because it is honestly so beautiful but I just don't wear highlight enough these days also FYI I posted more stuff on Depop the link is in my description if you guys want to purchase anything everything well most things that I sell on my Depop are brand new like 90% of the things are brand new um, especially makeup and skincare and also clothes are almost brand new um, some of them still have tags in them so definitely go check it out if it's not new I've only worn it like a couple times for pictures you know um, so definitely go check out my Depop I've got lots of new stuff on there anyway yeah so that's kind of what I wanted to touch upon today I feel like I should be super mindful of what I post online as well and like what kind of videos I post and I feel like if I post more of these type of videos I don't know I might help you guys out we can start a conversation on things gonna finish off my makeup and I'm gonna do my hair 
and then we can water my plants because I actually love doing that. It's been like two weeks since I haven't watered them. No, it's been like three weeks since I haven't watered them so they're quite dry. But now I know that it's a good time to water them today so yeah. This mask has like um, skincare ingredients, so apparently it's really good for you. Although I feel like there were some bumps on my skin in the morning when I woke up, and there's this weird rash here that was never really there, so I don't really know. Anyway, just had, um, as you guys just saw, I had a fresh um, event with Sweaty Betty wearing um, their sports bra and leggings that they sent over, which I'm absolutely loving. I love this color. I can't wait to I can't wait to wear this more in the summertime. Talking about the new kombucha facial kombucha cleansing treatment um which is amazing i've already used it as you can see and you basically use it um when you want to cleanse but you don't need to wash it off and you can use this like on the go this was my face i don't know if it was the fake tan but or the makeup that i wore yesterday but this is how much came out of it um they also sent us reusable face cotton pads so you kind of just wash this after you're done um, so that was really lovely and had a little face care session with like their other skincare products which are really good. Look at this weather. This is this is snow, hail, rain, everything all together. What is this madness? Anyway, I'm gonna go take a shower. Oh my god, I look so tan. I'm gonna take a shower and then I'll speak to you guys in a little bit. And I also need to show you guys a PLT haul. So I'll probably do that. Um, after so we shall do the little haul it's not gonna be a try on haul although i'm gonna be wearing all these pieces like in my upcoming photos on instagram i don't know in my vlogs and my videos so you guys can see it there and i also link everything in the description box so you can see how it looks on the models and stuff like that so i'm just not gonna bother trying anything on because it will be a long one and it's just like an informal haul of clothes that i was gifted um and yeah i'm just really excited to wear these clothes last thing i worn it so it's kind of like inside out the first thing i got was this like ribbed um cord this is so so cute it is literally like leggings and honestly this is so thick and i love the texture on this and it's got like tie waist detail right there 
and it came in a set so the set was you know this is a jumper and i tried it on and the jumper is a little bit more oversized which i absolutely loved um so yeah this is a little set moment and i love the fact that it's like a nude set you guys know i love nude always so i got a size large and i'm absolutely chuffed with this set I have these trousers which i also tried on and they fit so perfectly the only thing is they're a little bit long on me which is understandable i'm quite small so like naturally everything's always a little bit long on me when I buy like smart trousers these are just a pair of black flared trousers um, they have slits at the bottom oh my god my screen has gone so bright um, they have slits at the bottom and they're just plain black trousers again nothing else to say about it I can't wait to wear this when we start going out got this in a size 12 I believe and it fits really really nice and yeah I'll link all these items down below if you guys are interested then oh my god we have this jacket moment it's a jacket but it's kind of like a shirt style jacket it is honestly the coziest thing ever it is just so soft it's like a faux shirting wool super soft i absolutely love this so much i got this in a size oh no i've taken the label off I actually don't know i'll link it all down below and i'll also put on the description box what size i got but i love this color it's such a neutral piece and anything neutral just give it to me and this is so soft as well <sighs> <laughs> oh my god next up we have this knitted hoodie so this kind of reminded me of the new essentials can you stop it right i got this knitted kind of jumper kind of thing it's actually meant to be cropped and it's meant to be quite fitted but i did get a size large just so it was big and oversized it kind of reminded me of the essentials um jumper that's going around at the moment but this one just says pretty little thing honestly this is so cozy i've been wearing this on my walks and stuff it is literally so nice stop staring at me i ordered her sushi right yeah so this is really soft it's such a nice cream color as well it's more like a yellowy nude rather than like a beige nude because you can see this is like a beige color this is also this is a new t-shirt that jumper that i got from boohoo i have a video coming up very shortly on like my new in in my wardrobe at the moment which is featured there this is really nice and soft by the way okay next up we have this brown jumper it's like a really nice deep v neck jumper this is honestly so comfortable oh my god it keeps coming off the hanger this is so comfortable it is such a nice like rich chocolatey brown as you can see is the comfiest thing ever um it is a v-neck so you can get kind of cold it's not like a turtleneck and it's honestly so comfortable i got it in a size large just so it was really big and oversized and yeah this is the next item and it's just so thick feels like a proper knitted kind of material it doesn't feel like thin and cheap it's really nice and i really recommend it if you're looking for something like this um it's just like chocolate brown everything okay last but not least i also tried this on and let me tell you i can't wait to wear this when everything's over and we can go out this would be such a nice like drinks top so it's one shoulder only length kind of top it's like this it has this like turtleneck this will be perfect when it's still cold right now and we can go out for drinks and stuff this is honestly so 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 cute and i love the khaki color I have been wanting to add more of this color into my wardrobe I feel like it's such a nice like neutral color and yeah I got this and it's so soft it is literally so nice and I can't wait to wear this when we all can go out got this in a size 10 um, and it fits so nicely perfectly around my top half and yeah that is that is it that is all my holes hey guys since I'm here I also realized I forgot to end the vlog also if you're wondering what I did to my hair I actually used the bathrobe curl method Method yesterday well like two nights ago and yesterday the result was pretty bizarre if you saw on my Instagram but today I woke up and I brushed it and oh my god I am honestly obsessed if you guys want I can do a little tutorial on here on my next vlog which I am gonna be starting to film from today I absolutely love vlogging and I know that you guys love it when I vlog and I'm also gonna probably do some PR unboxing on next week's because I have had a three weeks worth of PR just lying here and I haven't done anything to it so I can definitely do that if you guys want anyway I thought I'd end the vlog here and I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next video Mwah.